Hey everyone, I'm Jessica from JewelryTutorialHQ.com and Bespangled Beads on Etsy. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you a trick to prevent your cord from fraying when you're making knotted cord jewelry. I think we all know the frustration of trying to thread a tiny bead onto a cord with a frayed end. There's just no way that's going to work. One of the main problems could be cutting your cord with dull scissors. Let me show you what a difference this makes. So these scissors are really, really, really dull. Now that's asking for trouble right there. Now in contrast, I'm using my super sharp fabric scissors. You could also use thread snips. It doesn't really matter as long as your cutting surface is really, really sharp. You can see that made a huge difference. So now starting with your nice crisply cut end, you're gonna grab some beeswax and pull the end of the cord through it a few times make sure you get wax on all sides of the cord. And then you're going to pay attention to the direction that the threads are going. Twist between your thumb and forefinger in that same direction a few times to kind of stick the ends together. Now you shouldn't have any more trouble getting through those tiny beads and you can repeat this process as necessary while you're beading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this quick tip was helpful and I hope you might visit me over at jewelrytutorialhq.com and bespangledbeads.etsy.com. Be sure to check out my channel for more cord knotting tips and tricks. You can click your screen on YouTube or see the notes below the video.